What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. All right, so Memphis jurors took several hours to reach a verdict today, ultimately delivering a guilty verdict to Justin Johnson. One of the men prosecutors say murdered young Dolph back in November of 2021. The jury released an amnesty guilty verdict to the charges of first degree murder, conspiracy to commit first degree murder, and being a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. And Judge Jennifer Mitchell immediately threw the book at him with a life sentence. Closing arguments were delivered Wednesday. Johnson never took the stand, but Cornelia Smith testified during the trial that young Gotti's slain brother, Big Juk, Big Juk, excuse me, who was, I think, murdered back in January this year, and suspect Hernandez Govan orchestrated for them to take out any paper route empire rappers that they could find. Ultimately, the pair happened to spot Dolph on that particular day back in November, or excuse me, in November 2021, November 17th to be precise, and opened fire outside the Makeda's cookie shop where the rapper was getting treats for his mother. Smith admitted his role in taking out Dolph, but said he felt no emotions over it at the time because he was addicted to drugs and was looking forward to collecting a $40,000 payday for the killing. Prosecutors argued the plan was for Govan to eventually broker a deal for Johnson to secure a record deal with Gotti CMG Records for his dastardly deed. Smith said he wound up only getting $800 and he and Johnson fled before being arrested in January of 2022. Um, I think I read that uh, Johnson went by the name Straight Drop as a rapper. And uh, I did a little research before this video. Like I told you guys, I don't really follow hip hop like that anymore, man. And this is one of the reasons why. Because we don't learn shit, do we? Like, you would think that the West Coast beat the West Coast East Coast beef for the '90s would have been a a sad, uh, you know, what I'm saying a, a, a sad series of events, which would have served as a reminder as to the dangers of taking uh, what should be no more than on wax banner between two rappers and making it as we tend to do an excuse to hate one another and take one each other and take each other out you know what i'm saying like i can't believe that all this has come all this materialized because of bruised egos all because young dolph declined signing with cmg Apparently, this is what this was all about. Now, yeah, you could argue Young Dolph antagonized uh, Yo Gotti a little bit, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that really probably is the template for coming up now. Like, to make a name for yourself and go after the big fish. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you go after the big fish. Now, look, insinuating that, you know, you didn't got intimate with somebody's baby mama or their wife or something. Okay, you know, yeah. But still, to do what they did, that's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. So, you know, I guess Young Dolph calling himself the king of Mif Memphis, that ad I guess that agitated them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Yo Gotti and Big Juke 
And um, then it culminated in two different shootings in 2017. One where Dolph was in the vehicle unharmed. Uh, the vehicle was bulletproof. He made a song uh, called Bulletproof based upon that. Then later on that year, he actually was shot in L.A. It's believed that that may have been related to CMG. Didn't appear things had died down, but lo and behold, behind the scenes, you know, apparently they were orchestrating this man's demise. And as a matter of fact, according to the, the testimony, if they had seen anybody affiliated with Dolph's, um, the late Dolph's uh, record label, they was going to be eliminated. But you know, all this over $800, man. Now your life is ruined. Your life is ruined. <laughs> For what? For what? So all these guys' lives are going to be ruined. Um, the other guys won't get life in prison too. Uh, your goddess brother is dead. Your Gotti's future look like it's probably about to be real bad for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all for what? Bruised egos. Don't make no sense, man. It's stupid to me. It's just dumb. And this is why I don't listen to this stuff no more, man. I really don't. If it ain't from, like, really, with the exception of a few songs, if it don't come before 2005, 2006, I ain't really listening to it, man. You know, it's just dumb. And I learned about how the music industry is a cahoots with the prison industrial complex. And I learned about how they purposely cater to the lowest common denominator and, and, and corrupt our culture. I can't listen to this crap no more, man. I look at the, the ir, almost irreparable damage that's done to our community, this, this, this perverse culture. The female rappers is basically creating pornography to a beat. What constitutes as hip hop now is unintelligible gibberish. I mean, I've seen a rapper recently, you want to call him that, recently made a rap song where the dude literally was making monkey sounds, bro. <laughs> Man, whatever, bro. But, uh,. <clears throat> I hope this brings some solace, I guess, to Young Dolph's family. But he should still be here, bro. He was still. He would have been only what forty? What was he? Thirty six. He'd been only thirty nine years old, man. He'd have been only thirty nine years old. All these rappers that have just. I, I want to pull something out right quick, man. Let me see something. This is a list <clears throat> of hip hop artists that have been murdered since 1987. Scott LaRock, Paul C, Danny D. Boy Rodriguez, Charisma, Stretch, Seagram, Tupac, G Slim, Biggie, Fat Pat, Big L, Freaky Todd, DJ Uncle Al, Jam Master J, Sabotage, Camouflage, Soldier Slim, Mac Dre, Blade Icewood, Papa, I forget who, Papa, I'm just going to say uh, Papa T, Proof, Big Hulk, Dollar. I remember when Dollar got taken out. That was 2009. Speed Freaks, Lele, Messi Maya, Magnola Shorty, Bad News Brown. Aiden Zapata, Lil Jojo, MC Deleste, or Deleste, Lil Snoop, or Lil Snoopy, Pavlos Fizes, and yeah, man, some of these names, bro, Wolf, Depsman, Dobie, 
the jack up chinks bankroll fresh mr three two xsx tentacion jimmy wapo smoke dog young greatness feist kevin fret nipsey hustle rs pop smoke houdini huey king von mo nr young dolph Drakeo the ruler snotty wild i know i'm butchering some of these names gunu archie eversole sidhu moosewala trouble nadi osama zaya thaw jay the youngin pnb rock takeoff aka pacho in antifeca antifica whatever big D big the hell big adago big adago c can c uh gambino julio fulio and that's not taking into account some of the more obscure ones like i didn't see mossberg on here he was taken out in 2001. That, that's that's ridiculous man and usually it has something to do with jealousy jealousy and bruised egos or some you know perverse sense of retribution you know uh anyway man like i said hope this brings solace to a little bit to young Dolph, his family his fans and these two these guys man these three dudes their lives are completely ruined he did all that for eight hundred dollars eight hundred dollars and a record deal that you never got the studio life away <laughs>